Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Meshing in ComSol Multiphysics and today we will be talking about two things. One is refining of mesh and the other thing is copy of mesh from a particular domain to another domain. So these two things will be very much important for your learning purpose. You may not require these options for regular meshing. However, this is very important to know about all the aspects of meshing because might be sometimes your geometry becomes complicated and you may need those options. And that is why I am uploading this video. So we'll be doing something like this. So let me go to a new page and I just go to the interface. Initially what I will be doing, I will take three domains say I'll take three squares just for learning purpose our geometry could be complicated so I duplicate it and I shift the position of the square so I have another square here again I duplicate square 2 and make square 3 again shifted so I have these three squares. Why am I taking these three squares instead of some other geometry? I'll be talking about it once I'm done with those options. Those options means uh, refining of mesh and copying mesh. So initially let us go to mesh, right click on mesh and choose a free triangular and I only choose this uh, selective domain, selective domain, say this particular domain let me click on size and suppose I go to extremely fine option forget about this option suppose you are working with general physics and you select extremely fine option and this gives you a mesh like this so see this mesh is not that much good in terms of you can see the elements are very not very closely spaced we can actually have more mesh elements if we are if our physics is something like this where we need more fine or finer mesh so in this case it is required to be even finer and how to how to do that for that i go to mesh right click on it and i'll be getting to the more options operations and there you have an option of refine so I choose this option. So again, from here, I will be selecting the domain option and let me choose this domain and let me click here. So you can see it has refined somewhat, right? Now, if you go here, you can see number of refinements. So only once refinement is done. Now, if I increase the number, say I increase it to two, if you see, it will be more refined you can actually visualize I guess if I make it 3 it will be something like this you see your mesh is so what can happen if you are working with a simulation and suddenly you feel that your mesh independence is not being reached so what do you do you need to refine it so for this you don't need to start from the initial step again because the zone where you need refinement you can just put an option of refine and you can just refine that particular zone i always talk about the uh, about the option electrical double layer suppose you are working with electrical double layer and your meshes should be very refined at the double layer zone so you can define a particular zone and you can define your mesh say one times two times three times based on your requirement so that was the option about refinement. Now what if I want to copy this kind of mesh to another domain. So ComSol has that option also. I was just going through it and I found it very interesting and that's why I thought of sharing it with you. So this is the option copy. So I just select it. So initially this particular zone where you need to say which domain you want to copy. So this domain I want to copy. So for that, 
uh, by mistake I chosen copy age this is not copy age this should be copy domain so I go again more operations copy domain okay not copy age I'll talk about that later so copy domain and here if I go I choose this option this particular so this gives me the liberty that whatever mesh is there I mean here I can copy it to somewhere else where do I want to copy that you have to define here so you click you will be clicking here it will give you a green signal and then let me choose this of this domain and if I click here you see whatever mesh you have here it is being copied to the other domain now there is a problem every time you cannot copy I will try to show you this also say let me take another option circle I build it here now what let me try to copy the mesh to the circle I don't know whether it will happen or not let us see it so I take another copy domain so say I copy it from here and I want to put it here so let me try you can see what is it, it will show you an error what is it showing could not copy to any destination entity because of I mean the mesh this particular mesh is compatible in your square geometry but you are trying to copy it in a circular geometry so the mesh compatibility is not being reached and that's why it cannot copy to this circular domain so you have to understand this particular fact but if you have a kind of say square of higher dimension and that particular mesh you want to copy in a square of lower dimension let us just try it so I take another square and let me take a lower dimension say 0.25 and I click on build object here let me shift it to some 1.5 and 0.5 position somewhere here and now if I go to mesh and click on copy domain let me again copy it from here and let me paste it here let us try see this one is working fine it is showing could not copy but it has actually copied I don't know why it's showing anyway but uh, you can see you have similar mesh and you can actually copy it so it depends on the compatibility sometimes your compatibility will be good and you will be able to copy and sometimes you will not be able to copy but there are multiple other options by which you can actually reach your target meshing and yes that was the topic I wanted to share with you so today I stop here I request you to subscribe to my channel because we are uploading more videos on research and engineering related materials. Recently we are working with Vector Algebra. Also we, are, we have started a new series on beginners level Python course and we will be working with other levels as well. Thank you.